Facebook's controversial founder, Mark Zuckerberg, is in the news again due to his company's newest developments in the field of advanced artificial intelligence. Facebook has had earned huge criticisms due to its dubious use of AI over the last decade. But now, with artificial intelligence becoming more intelligent with every passing day, it's starting to do more than simply tag a few photos or sorting the news stories on your feed. Impersonating real people, or manipulating their conversation partner's opinion on political topics, which will be formed around Facebook posts, are just few of the many abilities this new AI has. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will tell you how Facebook's new AI model works, what abilities it has, and finally, in what ways we can expect these sorts of artificial intelligence programs to influence society. Facebook's new artificial intelligence is called, BlenderBot2, and is a first-of-its-kind open-source chatbot with long-term memory from Facebook's enigmatic AI research platform. The most recent discoveries hint to Facebook's efforts to make AI more sympathetic, smart, and capable. OpenAI's GPT-3 and BlenderBot1 language models are highly eloquent and create human-like writing. BlenderBot was notorious for having the memory of a goldfish and for feigning expertise. Furthermore, such systems' long-term memory is static and confined to what the models were taught when they were created in the first place. The Blender Bot 2 has the ability to create long-term memory for ongoing access. Furthermore, it can do so while concurrently exploring the internet for information and conversing on virtually any topic. So, if a user mentioned Tom Brady a few weeks ago, Blender Bot 2 will almost certainly bring up the NFL in future chats. BlenderBot2 generated contextual internet searches using Bing and conversational tests to reply with information and hold longer and factually correct discussions. The chatbot retained conversational material in its LTM at the same time, allowing it to use that knowledge in longer-term continuing dialogues. Information is kept individually for various persons to guarantee that no data is shared between users. While existing systems can ask and answer basic inquiries like cuisine, movies, or bands, they generally struggle with more complicated or free-form dialogues, such as delving into Tom Brady's career. However, BlenderBot2 technology will undoubtedly become a valuable component of everyday life by allowing it to have multi-session talks on any topic that may last days, weeks, or even months, and by adding to what it knows and can talk about as the conversation progresses. The new system beat Blender Bot 1 in picking up discussion sessions, with a 17% increase in engagingness and a 55% increase in usage of prior conversation sessions. The rate of hallucination has also decreased from 9% to 3%. Blender Bot 2 surpassed current systems in terms of conversational ability, according to Facebook. Blender Bot 2's common sense thinking abilities allow it to decrease delusion and prevent misunderstanding between nuanced ideas. Blender Bot 2 employs an artificial intelligence model based on retrieval augmented generation, allowing it to create replies and integrate knowledge outside of the discussion. During a discussion, the model looks for relevant knowledge in its long-term memory as well as on the internet. To produce appropriate search questions, the model employs an improved conventional encoder-decoder architecture in conjunction with an extra neural network module. The resultant knowledge is then appended to the conversational history encoded using the fusion and decoder technique by BlenderBot2. Based on the encoded knowledge, the chatbot provides a response. Facebook AI researchers gathered two datasets for training the neural network using a crowdsourcing platform. Human interactions are supplemented by fresh online searches in Wizard of the Internet. This instructs BlenderBot2 on how to generate search engine requests and generate answers depending on them. Multi-session has a long context discussion with people in which information from conversion history is referenced. It tells the bot which new information to keep in long-term memory. To train the neural networks in Blender Bot 2, Facebook acquired data in English using a crowdsourcing platform similar to Amazon Mechanical Turk. One of the resultant datasets, Wizard of the Internet, comprises human talks that have been supplemented with fresh information gleaned from internet searches using the Microsoft Bing API. The other, multi-session, offers long context conversations with people that reference information from previous conversation sessions. 
Whether these sources of information truly are unbiased and actually factual, is debatable and is yet to be properly demonstrated by Facebook once the model is in public hands. According to Facebook engineers, they have taken the safety of conversational agents seriously, especially because they are known to create hazardous or obscene statements at times. This can happen if someone purposefully feeds it cues intended to generate an unpleasant reaction. They have performed a thorough examination of the available strategies for mitigating this problem. Language models are prone to choosing bias from the datasets on which they are trained. To address this issue, Facebook has included two prompts, baked in safety and resilience to difficulties. The techniques operate by training data from the new human and model in the loop architecture in a two-stage system to bank in safety to the generative model. The study found that there was a 90% drop in hostile replies and a 74% rise in safe responses. Blender Bot 2 can carry on a conversation as long as information about it is available on the internet, it is only limited by what a search engine can supply. In an interview, Jason Weston stated that while Blender Bot the second of may be able to use information about other languages if it is available on Bing, the chatbot is now exclusively focused on English-based results. Following the announcement of his ambition to develop an AI personal assistant on Facebook, Zuckerberg turned to the comments section to declare that he disagrees with fear-mongering claims made by people like Tesla CEO Elon Musk about the potential for AI to turn evil. He believes that they can create AI that works for us and assists us. Some fear-monger about AI being a major threat, but it seems far-fetched to me and far less likely than tragedies caused by widespread sickness or violence, he said on Facebook. AI, according to Mark Zuckerberg, is a technology that can generate opportunities. He believes AI has the potential to save human lives by improving the safety of self-driving automobiles and diagnosing medical problems. Musk, on the other hand, sees AI as a threat to the planet that, if not properly managed, might lead to humanity's demise. Elon Musk, in my opinion, is right here. In the future, I plan to remove a good deal of employment. AI software will progressively replace bank tellers, customer service representatives, telemarketers, stock and bond dealers, and even paralegals and radiologists. This will undoubtedly raise the unemployment rate and push us into poverty. This artificial intelligence also has the ability to behave like other people if they're trained on discussions and texts that were led by this person, which is also very troublesome. Models will occasionally contradict themselves until they have a better grasp of the world. Similarly, their models do not yet completely comprehend what is safe and what is not. And, while they develop long-term memory, they do not actually learn from it, which means they do not improve on their errors. This is a major issue and a safety concern that must be addressed before this can be utilized properly. This is the, the next chapter for our services. In addition to the digital town square, we also need a digital equivalent of the living room that is just as built out as a platform with all of the different ways that we want to interact privately with messaging and small groups and sharing where the content doesn't stick around forever, uh, simple and secure payments, private ways to share your location, and over time, lots of more different ways uh, to interact privately. Now look, I, I get that a lot of people aren't sure that we're serious about this. <laughs> I, I know that we don't exactly have the, the strongest reputation on privacy right now to put it lightly. But I'm committed to doing this well and to starting a new chapter for our, our product. So what is your opinion on the revolutionary new artificial intelligence model from Facebook? Do you believe it's good and safe enough to be used by regular people all over the world? Or do you have trouble trusting a company such as Facebook? Would you trust any other company to create a truly safe and fair AI? If you do, which company would that be? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.